right, folks, we're back. Bare Knuckle Strength TV. No, I'm just kidding. Um, and we're here today to learn how to work towards the next progression in our kettlebell movements. And today we're going to learn the kettlebell squat or the goblet squat. Okay? Now, the squat is just like it sounds. You basically squat. All right? Now, there are ways that we can get into this progression, just like all the other exercises that I've shown you. Essentially, the first way that we're going to learn how to do this is just to sit down. So, behind me you'll see that I have a bench, all right, and the bench is a little high, and this is for people who have bad knees or any of that kind of stuff. We don't want you going into a bad range of motion if you're injured or if you're having problems. What we can do is work with what you have and build you up from there. So, the first progression, you're just going to grab a chair, grab a crate, grab a sidewalk, something that you can sit on. Put your hands out in front of you just for a little counterbalance, and all I want you to do is sit down. Now, there's a slight rock back, and all you're going to do is you're going to come forward, you're going to push through your heels, and you're going to stand up. Work on that. If that seems easy, because that's about halfway, good. You can find something a little bit lower, a crate, the curb on the sidewalk, something like that, and you can work to increase that range of motion a little bit. Another neat way to do that is with some assistance. Either at home, you can grab both sides of your doorknobs, or you can grab a pole like we used earlier, stick the pole in the ground, and you can literally walk your way down the pole and find yourself in this position. Now, what we're looking for is your feet to be about shoulder width. You want a nice tall chest so I can read your shirt. Your toes are going to be up to you. Some have to go a little bit wider because we have stuff going on in our hips. Some can be a little bit narrower. I'm an ex-football player. My squat is a little stiff right now. I'm working through some ranges of motion that I lost over the years. So, this drill right here really has helped me just find the bottom of my squat. Okay, from there, pretty simple. The squat's not a big um, technical exercise. It is and it isn't. Once you get into more loading, we won't worry about that today. Right now, the goblet squat portion, what you're gonna do, you're gonna do a half little swing, and you're gonna pop that kettlebell right up into your hands right here, and you're gonna hold it by the horns, okay? You're gonna put your feet about shoulder width. I'm gonna find some more solid ground here. Feet about shoulder width, slow, toes slightly pointed out, big chest and I sit down, okay? Now, you'll notice I have the pointy part of my elbow on the meaty part of my knee right here, that little teardrop muscle, okay? Find that spot every time. Don't worry about going lower, because then you sacrifice bad things. Right now my back is rounded, you can't see it, okay? So, big tall chest. And we find the bottom of that hole. Everything stays together. <sighs> Sit down. And stand up. Pretty simple there. Practice your squats. 